Kaboom! Yes, welcome to the channel guys and today I'm going to show you three amazing and easy to use Town Hall 15 attack strategies because I realise you might have just got to Town Hall 15 and you're thinking, what army do I use? Well, don't worry guys, I'm going to show you some armies that can three star maxed out Town Hall 15 bases. So first up, we've got the Electro Titan army, 10 Electro Titans, 6 Bat Spells, Three free spells, a rage spell, a recall spell, and then a poison spell to sprinkle on top. Clan Castle on troops, two yetis, a valk, and one headhunter. So we're going to jump into our first replay in just a moment. Before we do, guys, just a really quick reminder that on this channel, we've got something called a creator code. A creator code is where you can help support your favorite content creator in-game by using their code before making any purchases. It's easy to do. There's a C emblem in the shop in the top right-hand corner. You just click on that. A little box comes up, and you enter that code in there. Our code is code MOOSE. Any support would be amazing. And you do need to renew it once a week. Anyway, guys, yes, let's see the first attack strategy in action. So here we go. Just a beautiful spam attack. We're going to put down all of the Electro Titans in a line. Maybe a couple on the left, a couple on the right to help funnel. Then the heroes in the center with the Log Launcher. I find the Bat Spells work really well with his army. What I like to do is try and use the Grand Warden ability nice and early. He's on ground mode, by the way. And then we're going to try and save that Rage spell for the Town Hall so we can take it out with the Yetis inside. Electro Titan's doing a good job on the right-hand side. We've got that Recall spell as well. That's really, really useful. And now the Log Launcher is moving towards the Town Hall. The Town Hall's gone. The Monolith is there. This could be dangerous. Clan Castle Troops, don't worry, guys. Don't worry. Send in the Bats. There they go on the left-hand side. Get ready with your Freeze spell to help the Bats out here, guys. We've got a Multi Inferno. The bats are doing a great job. And, and guys, you can recall the bats. You can recall your heroes if they're uh, going to be... There we go. We've recalled the bats. There we go. That's something different, guys. You don't have to, but it can be really useful. And then we're going to send in the bats from the right-hand side to take out that scatter shot because the multi-inferno, the bats did not like that. So this is going uh, really well here, guys. We've got Electro Titans on the right, on the left, and we're going to get three stars nice and easily there. One, two, three, four, five, five... Electro Titans left six. And we're just going to take out the uh, Elixir Storage for three stars. Thank you very much. We've got a couple more replays, of course. It's top three, not top one. Uh, so here we go. Here's our next attack strategy. We've got a new level on the Golem and Witch at Town Hall 15, of course. So it's going to be two Wizards, three Golems, 18 Witches, and one Headhunter. Spells, again, are going to be six Bat Spells, five Freeze, and then a Rage Spell and Poison Spell to sprinkle on top. Clan Castle Troops are the same as well, guys. Again, we're going to be using the Log Launcher. Now, don't worry if you haven't got the new pets. Just use your old setup and try and get those new pets unlocked as quickly as possible as possible so here we go guys onto our next replay and on the left hand side we're going to funnel golem and a few witches and the same again on the right in the center of golem with the king all of the witches there log launcher rest of the heroes and get ready with the grand warden ability again guys remember to put your grand warden on ground mode i always forget and the beautiful thing about the log launcher is those logs fly out and they activate the town hall which is really good it means those invisibility spells aren't as effective. We've used the Rage spell near the Town Hall. Try and get those troops in there. Use the King ability. Watch out for the Monolith. You might want to use a free spell on that to save your heroes. And we don't have a Recall spell with this attack strategy. You can put a Recall spell in there if you want to, guys. I think they are really, really powerful. But I think this attack strategy does really well without one. We've sent in the Rule Champion on the right-hand side. She's moving through the base. Uh, can we take out the Monolith, please? It's going to be close. But no, we need the bats' help. So we've sent in the bats. And uh, the bats are now taking out the center of the base. Can they take out the Eagle Artillery? They're moving towards it. Please, bats. Yes, thank you very much. Rule Champion sweeping through the base on the right-hand side. On the left, we're looking pretty good. We've got witches, skeletons, and the queen is there as well. The bats are still taking out some things. And guys, I know I'm sort of using some bat spells here. And there's been a new level to the bat spell, of course. Uh, you know, there are not too many. I think it's one more bat per spell you get, which doesn't sound a lot. But I think with these sort of Town Hall 15 bases, bats are just a nice spam attack. And when they work, they work. And you can get three stars and you feel like you're almost a professional. Uh, anyway, we've got loads of troops left. Look at this. Three stars again. Yes. Thank you very much. So uh, our last attack strategy here, here we go guys, and we're going to go with one wizard, six yetis, four electro titans, one minion. Yes, that is Michael the minion, the most powerful troop in Clash of Clans. Six witches and one headhunter spells, six bat spells, 
Three freeze, two rage, and then a poison spell. Crown Castle troops the same as before, and we're going to be using the log launcher again. I think the log launcher just is too powerful against Town Hall 15 bases. So what are we going to do here, guys? Same again, of course. It's funnel time again. On the left, on the right, Yeti, couple of witches. Send in that funnel, and then the troops in the center. Same again, guys. Electro Titans, Yetis. Grand Warden and the rest of the heroes with the Log Launcher line it up with a Town Hall and some nasty defences. Use that Grand Warden ability nice and early. Put down a Rage spell to help them out. And here we go again. We need to try and take out these Multi Infernos. And guys, you've got to be careful. Multi Infernos are dangerous in real life. The other day, I thought, you know what? I'm quite hungry. I fancy a croissant, uh, some milk and some chocolate. I thought I'd go to the local shop, walk down this country lane. Suddenly I heard this noise look down at my foot my shoe was on fire guys i was being infernoed by a multi inferno i had to run off uh, i had to chuck some water on my foot my shoe was damaged uh, beyond repair had to buy another pair of shoes all i'm trying to say is just be careful out there watch out for multi infernos they can be dangerous back to the action there's a single target inferno don't get me started on those they're even worse so we're going to send in some bats to take out that single target inferno uh, and we've still got Mike the Minion to deploy on the battlefield. And guys, you know, as soon as Mike the Minion is on the battlefield, you're going to get three or four stars. But we're just, we're just keeping hold of Mike now. He's our secret weapon. 1.5 million damage per second. I'm joking, guys. It's 1.6. Anyway, the bats, uh, unfortunately, have been taken out. There's Mike the Minion on the right-hand side of the map. Hi, Mike. How are you doing? It's good to see you. Look at Mike the Minion. Level 11 looks magnificent. So there we go, guys. There's our three amazing attack strategies. We're going to get three stars here. Yes, guys. I'd like to know in the video comments, are you going to be trying out these attack strategies? Have you just reached Town Hall 15? Or are you Town Hall 7? And you're just having a look uh, to see what's ahead. So, guys, yeah, we've got three different attack strategies there. I know they're all sort of relying on bats, but if you want an easy-to-use attack strategy to spam attack and get three stars at Town Hall 15, I've done a lot of attacks uh, at Town Hall 15, guys, and bats were by far my favourite way of getting three stars. I just found it nice and easy. Uh, you know, if the spam attack goes well, the bats can really deliver three stars. And also, guys, I'll try and put the army copy link for you in the video description. Remember to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Join the Samoose army. And also, guys, remember you can use creator code Moose in game to help support the channel. Uh, it's easy to do. Anyway, guys, have a lovely day and let me know what you think in the video comments. See you later, guys. Bye.